all right so welcome back to the channel guys it is me ad summer for four so today guys i want to talk to you guys about have arsenal already lost the premier league title guys that is a question for today's video now am i saying that they will lose a premier league title no i'm just saying is that have they already lost it because we're going to do a fixture run we're going to look at each team's fixtures arsenal games manchester city games so if you're new on here please hit that like button we're trying to hit um, we're gonna hit. I want to hit 10 likes on today's video, so let's try to hit 10 likes. And obviously, subscribe if you're new, man. Subscribe if you're new. I want to try to reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year, guys. So please help me um, and hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that subscribe button. It would really mean a lot for the channel. And obviously, consider commenting down below your thoughts on this as well. And I'll do a community poll as well on this matter as well. And um, yeah, it'll be really, really interesting to see what happens, man. And also. Consider become a member of the channel to get access to members' videos, member stream. Hope we can get some more of you guys to be, become members. Right now, as the time recording, we have two members. So please do that. Anyways, enough self-promotion and all that. Let's go ahead and get on to the sub-matter. So let's go ahead and look at Arsenal games, right? So let me do a quick zoom in for you guys because it's a bit hard to see. Okay? So Arsenal have West Ham away. Now, Arsenal should be winning that game. West Ham this season have been very, very underperforming they haven't been great this season now even though west ham haven't been great they are fighting relegation west ham could still be a tricky test for arsenal because this is a team that's battling relegation and teams are battling relegation are putting everything on the line they're going to put everything on the line so for west ham that could be a very tricky game then they have southampton that's a game that arsenal should also be winning but here's the thing southampton's been arsenal's bogey team southampton have denied like last season, Southampton beat Arsenal. Now, granted, that was at their stadium. And they did get a draw against them this season at their stadium. Now, this is a way, so Arsenal should be winning that. But I wouldn't be surprised to see Southampton get a draw. I don't see Southampton winning, but I wouldn't be surprised to see a draw. Which, a draw would be really bad. Then they have that crucial, crucial game. Manchester City away. This is a massive game. I would say these four games is going to make or break Arsenal this season. Because that's going to be a very crucial, pivotal game. Because we just saw what Arsenal did to Liverpool at Anfield, right? Arsenal were not able to hold on for the three points. And that's my concern here is that what could have very well happen in that game is Arsenal had the lead and then Manchester City do a comeback, you know? Or what could be a very, very sick scenario is that Arsenal, Manchester City take the lead, Arsenal then equalize, then Arsenal be like, let's go, we got the point. Then Manchester City score two late goals. Because I'm looking at Manchester City right now, they're peaking at the right time, you know. And I think that's going to be a very, very difficult game for Arsenal. Because they're going to need to get at least a draw in that game, in my opinion. Because they're, they're not winning. Like, let me just tell you this right now. They are not winning that yet. At best, they can get a draw. They are not winning that yet. Mark my words. There is absolutely no chance they win at that yet. Forget that. That best they can get is a draw. Then they have Chelsea at home. Now... Even though Chelsea have been really, really bad this season. Chelsea have been absolutely abysmal this season. Chelsea do have their number in big games. Chelsea do tend to rise up in the big games. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Chelsea get a draw in that game. Now, Arsenal should be winning the game because it's the Emirates. And Chelsea probably by then have nothing to play for. Uh, let's see what happens in the Champions League. Uh, because we'll be playing, obviously, Real Madrid um, Wednesday. I'm recording this before they play Real Madrid, so... Assuming that they get lose that game, which they probably will, that G Chelsea game, I'm sorry, that Arsenal game may not have any meaning, you know? Then they have Newcastle away, which is a very, very difficult game. Newcastle have been excellent defensively speaking. I honestly think Newcastle is going to be a team that Arsenal will really, really struggle to get against. And then they have Brighton at home. Now, I think Arsenal should be able to be Brighton, but you look at Brighton. They're fighting for Champions League position right now. So that's another difficult game. Forest. Then they have Nottingham Forest away, which is another difficult game because Nottingham Forest are battling for relegation. You can see right here, guys, Nottingham Forest are 27 points. So that's a game that Arsenal should be winning, but don't put it past Nottingham Forest to get a draw somehow. And then Wolves at home, you know, I think Wolves by then will have already secured survival. So I think Wolves, that game, they should, they, they, they'll probably win. So if I had to do a point prediction for how many points they'll get in their next eight games, we'll also do the same with Manchester City as well. I'm going to go with Arsenal to beat West Ham. I'm going to go with Arsenal to beat Southampton. I think they're going to lose to Manchester City. I think they're going to beat Chelsea. I think they're going to draw against Newcastle. 
and I think they're going to beat Brighton, and they, they're going to beat Forest, and I think they're going to beat Wolves. So I'm going to go with six, basically six wins, one draw, and one defeat. Okay? Now, at the top, you can see right here, Arsenal is currently on 73 points. Okay? So let me do the math here, guys. So let me tally this up for you guys. So 73 plus, I think they're going to win six of those games. Okay? So six times three is 18. And I think they're going to draw one of those games. So that's going to put them at a total of 92 points. Okay? Now we're going to look at Manchester City's fixtures. And let's see how it's looking for them. Okay. So, let's, well, forget the Champions League. And forget the FA Cup. We're not going to look into that. So they got Leicester at home. Manchester City should be winning that. Leicester have just uh, appointed Dean Smith as their new coach. Leicester badly relegation. I believe they're 19th at the time recording. Let me just do a quick fact check. Yeah, Leicester are 19th. So... Man City should be winning that. Now, remember, Man City is um, six points behind, by the way. And they do have a game in hand upon Arsenal, by the way, just so you know. So then they have Brighton away. I'm still going to go with Manchester City to win that. Okay? Arsenal at home, I think they'll win. I think they're going to beat Fulham. It could be really, really tricky, though, that Fulham game. Uh, but they should still be able to win that, though, because it's Manchester City, you know? Then they have West Ham that they should win. Leeds at home, they should win. Everton away could be tricky, but I still expect them to win. And then Chelsea at home, they should win. Now, Brentford away could be very difficult. Brentford away could be very, very difficult. But I do expect them to win. So, basically, guys, I have them winning eight games. Sorry, nine games. So, basically, nine times three is 27. So, 63, 67 plus 27 means that they're going to win this by 94 points. Basically, by two points clear. Okay. That just shows how tight it is. Okay? And like I said, guys, my reasoning for Manchester City has been they're just a freak of nature. And I feel like Manchester City are peaking at the right time. Whereas I feel like Arsenal, they're just... I, I feel like they're looking great. But I worry for Arsenal in those kind of games where, you know, against like Newcastle and against Manchester City, you know. I feel like when the going gets tough, I'm not really sure if I can bank on Arsenal. Whereas Manchester City, they've done this for years past. They've won so many Premier League titles from being in a losing position halfway through the season and able to win it. Look what they did against Liverpool in the 18 and 19 season. They were, I believe, Liverpool, I believe, had a good margin at the top of the table. And the Manchester were able to win the Premier League just by one solitary point. And look what they did last season. Everyone was thinking Liverpool would do the quadruple. Quadruple, Manchester City were dropping points. And all of a sudden, they won the Premier League at the last minute with the, um, obviously... With Gundogan scoring the breaks, I believe, on the final match day against Villa. Like I said, with Arsenal, my issue with them is that I don't think they have enough squad depth. And I feel like the injuries is very, very piling. Because Saliba is out. Then you have, um, obviously, um, who else is out? Um, Tomiyasu is out. So they're really stretched for the position, especially in defense. And if, like, let's say, like, um, uh, Ben White gets injured, who's going to be the right back now? You know, if Bukayo Saka gets injured, who's going to be the replacement? Like, I don't really feel like Arsenal have the kind of backup players, whereas Manchester City do. Manchester City have the backup players. And I feel like Manchester City are just looking really good, man. Manchester City have been looking amazing. And I feel like they're finally peaking at the right time. Because my issue with Arsenal is I think they peak too early. I think Arsenal, they start off the season a bit too early. And with a lot of teams underperforming this season, like Chelsea, Liverpool... I think these teams and Tottenham, I think they just capitalized upon it and they're able to be this good. Now, don't get me wrong. I think Arsenal have been great this season. I'm not saying they haven't been great, but I feel like Arsenal, for me, the thing is, I feel like they've just taken advantage of teams that they... Sh they I feel like they've been taking advantage of teams that have been underperforming this season rather than them been performing well. I, I think they have been performing well. They have been overperforming, but I think the other teams have been underperforming because at the beginning of the season, we all said Arsenal should be finishing. Four. I said Arsenal will finish top four. It was always going to be a battle for top four this season and nothing really more than that. So what you you have to give credit to Arsenal this season. They have definitely proved the haters wrong, but it's going to look really, really sad at the end of the season when they look at the possible season they could have had and they only they were not able to win the title, especially in a position the worst they were in, you know? So, I don't know, man. It's going to be very interesting. This Premier League title race will go down to the wire, guys. I'm super excited to see how this one pans out. And I think that Manchester City-Arsenal game may just be the defining game for Arsenal because if Arsenal manages to get a draw from that game, that could be very, very pivotal. Because, like I said, guys, 
According to my calculations, I think City will just about win the league with a two-point margin. But is there a guarantee that City wins all these games? Because as much as I think City should win all these games, part of me thinks they're going to draw points. Like, I could see them dropping points to, like, maybe Brighton away. Maybe Brentford away. Heck, maybe even, um, you know, maybe even Everton away at Goodison Park. You never know, man. So, it's going to be very, very fascinating to see how this Premier League title race unfolds, guys. And I really, really am keen to see how you guys think about this. So, please, let me know in the comments below, man, what you guys think of the situation for Arsenal and for Manchester City. And comment down below which team you have to win the Premier League, man. Because right now, guys, I'm still sticking with Manchester City to win this Premier League. I think they'll still win it, guys. But it's going to be very tight because it's going to come down to the final wire. And who's going to win that Premier League? Let me know all of that in the comment section below. So if you made it this far, please hit the like button, man. If you haven't already, can also comment down below your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, and also comment down below. Like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new out here. And also consider becoming a member of the channel to get access to member videos and member streams. And yeah, I think that's going to be it. And also please turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever I go live. And also comment down below which team you guys have to win the Premier League. Peace out, guys.